They ban black history in school, and you'll be shocked why. We are going to delve into a topic that might leave you surprised, disappointed, and angry all at once. We're talking about the shocking truth behind the banning of black history in our school curriculums. So they have banned the schools. Yes, they literally put the future of the students at stake. But why? The reason is more shocking. To understand this, we need to go back in time and examine the roots of this sinister practice from the 19th century to the 20th century. Black history was deliberately suppressed by white leadership to maintain control and power and uphold racist ideologies. As we dig into the historical accounts, we'll begin to see a pattern of violence and discrimination inflicted upon black communities. Let's start with the Atlanta Massacre of 1906. Atlanta, once a bustling city, became the epicenter of the regional economy, drawing in a significant black population. However, this growth came challenges, and white leadership responded by implementing restrictions to control the behavior of the burgeoning black working class. The social intermingling of the races was frowned upon, leading to an expansion of Jim Crow segregation, further deepening racial tensions. Fast forward to the Rosewood Massacre of 1923 in Florida. The thriving black community of Rosewood was a haven of prosperity and peace until a horrifying incident of racial violence turned everything upside down. White mobs descended on the town, burning it to the ground and leaving a scar that would last for decades. The true death toll was hidden for years, with white historians largely ignoring the tragedy until much later. But why would anyone want to ban black history in school? And you'll be shocked to know the real reason behind the removal of the stories of a significant part of our population. Children were literally not allowed to go to schools. It means that they were not allowed to take decisions. Then how are they supposed to enlighten themselves? Let's try to understand. Behind this dark conspiracy, the Springfield race riot of 1908 in Illinois played a crucial role. Here, tensions between black and white residents escalated, leading to a deadly riot and leaving six black people lynched and hundreds driven out of Springfield. The aftermath of this riot contributed to the formation of the National Association for the Advancements of Colored People, or NAACP, in 1909, which aimed to fight against racial violence and discrimination. The Slocum Massacre of 1910 in Texas was a brutal event targeted at blacks, resulting in the deaths of numerous African Americans. The incident remained buried in history until investigative efforts unveiled the horrific details in the 1980s. These are just a few instances of the violence and oppression faced by black Americans throughout history, and they paint a grim picture of the realities of our black brothers and sisters and what they have endured. So why isn't this history being taught in our schools? The truth is, the omission of black history from curriculums was a deliberate act perpetuated by white supremacists who wanted to maintain the status quo of racial segregation and oppression. By erasing these stories from textbooks, they sought to perpetuate a distorted narrative that diminished the contributions and resilience of black people throughout history. This intentional erasure aimed to reinforce stereotypes and maintain a false sense of superiority among white Americans. It was a means to ensure that black individuals were seen as lesser, that their voices were silenced and their achievements were disregarded. Unfortunately, this trend of erasing black history continues to persist in some parts of our education system. The consequences of this erasure are profound. Black students are deprived of the opportunity to learn about their heritage, culture, and the struggles their ancestors faced and overcame. Conversely, white students are robbed of a comprehensive understanding of American history and the role black Americans played in shaping our nation. Now let's examine the profound impact this erasure has had on our communities and the urgent need for acknowledgement. The erasure of black history from school curriculums has left a deep and lasting impact on black communities. When students are not taught about the struggles, achievements, and contributions of their ancestors, it creates a sense of disconnection and alienation. It reinforces the idea that black history is somehow separate from American history, when in fact, it is an integral part of the fabric that makes up our nation. By failing to acknowledge black history, we are perpetuating a cycle of ignorance and perpetuating harmful stereotypes. This lack of understanding contributes to the perpetuation of systemic racism 
and the marginalization of black individuals in society. It leaves young minds ill-equipped to confront issues of race and discrimination, hindering the progress toward a more inclusive and equitable society. Furthermore, the erasure of black history denies all students the opportunity to learn about the struggles and resilience of black Americans in the face of adversity. It prevents them from understanding the historical context of racial disparities and the ongoing fight for civil rights. Without this knowledge, students are ill-equipped to engage in meaningful conversations about race and work toward dismantling the structures of inequality. To make progress, we must confront the uncomfortable truths of our history and ensure that black history is woven into the fabric of our education system. It is essential to provide students with a comprehensive and accurate portrayal of American history that includes the struggles, achievements, and contributions of black Americans. Many advocates, educators, and organizations are working tirelessly to promote the inclusion of black history in our school curriculums. They understand that acknowledging this history is not about assigning blame or guilt, but about recognizing the truth and learning from our past to create a better future. It's time to challenge the status quo and demand change. We must call on policymakers and educational institutions to take action and ensure that black history is given the prominence it deserves in our classrooms. Implementing inclusive and diverse curriculums that celebrate the diversity of our nation will help break down the barriers of ignorance and create a more tolerant and compassionate society. Across the country, there are educators who are taking it upon themselves to integrate black history into their curriculums and create a more inclusive learning environment. They understand that by doing so, they are not just teaching history, they are cultivating empathy, understanding, and critical thinking skills in their students. One way educators are incorporating black history is by using diverse teaching materials, such as books, documentaries, and articles that highlight the experiences of black Americans. They are moving away from a singular narrative and presenting a more comprehensive and accurate portrayal of American history. Moreover, educators are encouraging open and honest discussions about race and racism in their classrooms. By creating a safe space for dialogue, they empower their students to confront difficult topics, challenge stereotypes, and examine their own biases. These conversations are instrumental in fostering empathy and understanding among young minds. Social media and technology are also playing a vital role in spreading awareness about black history. Online platforms provide a space for sharing stories, resources, and educational content that can reach a wide audience. By harnessing the power of social media, activists, educators, and individuals alike can amplify the importance of black history and demand change. So, what can we do as individuals to contribute to this movement and ensure that black history is given the prominence it deserves? First and foremost, we can educate ourselves. Take the time to learn about black history beyond what you may have been taught in school. Read books, watch documentaries, and listen to podcasts that tell the stories of black Americans and their contributions to our society. Knowledge is the first step towards dismantling ignorance. Secondly, we can support organizations and initiatives that are working to promote black history in schools. Donate to local museums, libraries, or educational programs that prioritize inclusive curriculums and celebrate black history. Lastly, we must continue to have open and honest conversations about race and racism with our friends, family, and colleagues. Be willing to confront uncomfortable truths and challenge harmful stereotypes by engaging in these discussions. We can create a ripple effect that promotes empathy, understanding, and ultimately, positive change. In conclusion, the erasure of black history in schools is a tragic reality that perpetuates racial inequality and fosters ignorance. It denies black students the opportunity to see themselves represented in the narrative of their nation's history and perpetuates harmful stereotypes. Acknowledging black history is not just about acknowledging the pain and suffering endured by black communities, but also celebrating their triumphs and contributions. Fortunately, there is hope on the horizon. Educators and communities are taking the initiative to promote black history and create a more inclusive learning environment by educating ourselves, supporting initiatives, and using our voices and engaging in open conversations, we can all contribute to this crucial movement. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery and reflection. If you find this video informative, give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. 
let's continue to learn, grow, and work toward a brighter and more inclusive future.